Okay, so here is one of the first videos answering your questions. And um, one of the most requested topics I get is my propane heater, fireplace. And so I've gone over it before in my uh, motorhome tours and whatnot, but uh, let's just go over some of the things I constantly get asked, okay? So let's take a look. This is Dickinson Marine. P9000 propane fireplace. It is manufactured right here in BC, actually just outside Vancouver in Surrey. And uh, it's built for boats. As a lot of you know, everything built for boats is far higher quality than everything built for RVs. And the RV furnace, these are common in pretty much all these Class Bs, a lot of Class Cs. and. Uh, they're great, they'll heat the place up in a couple of minutes flat, but they're really inefficient. They use up your propane very quickly, and the big fan required to push the hot air in uh, it will kill your batteries. Um, even if you have solar and all the rest of that, well, if it's a really cold night and you have the thing cycling on and off on the thermostat all night, you'll, uh, you'll end up with a dead battery before the night's through uh, quite often. So they're, they're not meant for off-grid use. They're good if you're plugged in somewhere and, what, and for very occasional usage. I personally prefer to always have warmth. I love my heat. So the, the fireplace I can leave on pretty much 24 seven, just leave it on low and leave it on high if it's really, really cold. Uh, but it keeps it nice and toasty inside and it's very efficient on propane. It uses much less propane leaving it on all the time as opposed to the furnace which cycles on and off. So go figure. Plus it doesn't use uh, any battery power. It can use a very small amount of battery power if you flick on the fan, which is speed controllable. Right now it's on high and you probably can't even hear it. It is so quiet and so low power usage. Sometimes I forget the fan is even on when I turn off the fireplace and it doesn't, it doesn't affect the battery at all. It is such a low draw. Um, you don't need the fan on, but it does help. It blows the hot air from, from here. It blows it out downwards a little bit, circulates the air a little bit nicer. Um, it's, it's basically like a little computer fan in there, I guess, but very similar. All right. This used to be the food pantry right here. It had a door on it, just like the rest of the doors in here. It had a, a big door, it opened up, and it had three shelves for food. Well, when I was uh, looking for a place to put the fireplace, I wanted it to be uh, somewhere central, not just in the bedroom, not just in the front, and I uh, also wanted it near the propane, and there happens to be propane right here with the stove, and of course with the existing furnace. So. It was just really good luck that um, the the heater itself came with this much chimney. Uh, this is the exact length out of the box when you buy it. Sometimes you'll have to buy extensions if you have a taller rig or you want the heater down on the floor, or you'll have to cut it if you don't have this much space. But it happened to fit just perfectly. We took off the door to the food pantry me and my friend, and we built a false wall back here. So we put a piece of wood in there and built this little enclosure for the, for the fireplace. And uh, then my buddy brought out his tools and cut a three inch hole in the ceiling uh, for the chimney outside. We mounted it to the wall and then connected the propane line that was on the original furnace to the fireplace. So I actually have the furnace disconnected at the moment. I might actually go get a a T connector to reconnect the furnace just if you need that occasional real quick blast of hot air to heat up the place real quick and then turn on the fireplace when you're done uh, which maintains the temperature. I might do that just just for convenience sakes but I've been perfectly happy with this just as it is. I haven't quite finished in everything yet like I still have some bare wood here I have to I have to finish in uh, with I'll, I'll get some white paneling or some more more of this white aluminum finish it in and I'll show you the uh, chimney outside if you Google it, you'll see it on boats quite often, but 
That's it right there. All you ever see is a little tiny bit of uh, steam coming out of it, and if it's really cold, you'll see a little bit of uh, you'll see a little bit of steam. When it's raining, sometimes you see a bit of steam, but you see no smoke, so it's very stealth. Uh, nobody knows uh, that you're you have a fireplace on inside, which is one of the reasons I went for this as opposed to a wood stove because I am quite often uh, urban camping in the cities, so it just makes sense. Um, so uh, I hope that answers your questions for the fireplace. Oh yeah, cost uh, about 750 bucks Canadian at a boat dealer in Vancouver. Most dealers charge around the same. Uh, the manufacturer itself charges over $1,100 on their website. So obviously don't go to the manufacturer, go to a dealer. These are very common. They're sold everywhere in, the Can in Canada and USA. They're actually under a couple of names, but the manufacturer is indeed Dickinson Marine uh, right here in Surrey, BC. This thing is just absolutely phenomenal. It is not thermostatically controlled. It is just low or high, but that is just fine with me because I usually just leave it on low. It's just enough and just leave it on. And you always have this nice flame ambience. At nighttime, it's really, really nice in here. You're lying in bed and all you see is the flickering of the flame off all the white cabinetry in here. And it's 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 just it's just amazing. I, I, I didn't feel so comfortable when I was you know, living in an apartment paying rent. So it's really nice. Um, and even when I used the furnace before on the thermostat, you see, I love my heat. I used to put the thermostat almost on maximum and just let the damn thing stay on, which of course killed the battery, but <laughs> I guess it'd be nice to have this on a thermostat, but it's not a big deal to me. I mean, come on, first world problems, right? If you, if you can't get up and turn on and off your, your fireplace, then I, you know, I mean, I think there's other priorities in life to be worried about. So it, it's, it's, absolutely worth every penny it was the one of the first investments I put into this when I bought it it was even before I put the solar panels on I wanted to get this in uh, because I had one in a previous van before and I remembered how great it was so to, uh, just so you all know it is absolutely bone cold to the left and right of the fireplace like it's completely cold you don't have to worry about clearances so much with this uh, with, with this heater we're talking one or two inch clearances is even what they say in their manual like the only heat is right off the front glass and right off the top a little bit, but the walls are cold, so you don't have anything to worry about. These things are just fantastic for that. Uh, very safe. Oh, and it's completely sealed. All right, so the chimney is actually two pipes. There's an inner pipe and an outer pipe, and it sucks in the cold air from outside, the oxygen, and then the exhaust goes out the other pipe. So it is completely sealed. You can shut all your doors and windows and roof vents and you're not going to die, which is the case with catalytic heaters and other propane heaters that you shouldn't use indoors. So it's just like the RV furnace. You can run it safely 24 seven with everything shut. And, um, and, you, and you have nothing to worry about as far as oxygen goes and all that. So that's another big bonus to this. Uh, I did look at catalytic heaters, but uh, I, I, I don't want to be having to always worry about having a window open a crack and, and all that jazz. So this to me is just perfect. Plus having a flame. I mean, come on, you can't beat that. Having a little flame is just amazing in a small space like this. Okay, so that's that. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching everyone. And don't forget you can check out my previous videos by going to my channel. It's easy to get to, justincredible.tv. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. All right, keep on rocking in the free world, everyone.